Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am so excited about today's video. I will be doing my go-to magnetic palette from summer slash fall edition. Yes, it has been quite a while since I have last done this to holiday edition. I am so sick of looking at the same colors over here that I picked to this palette in uh, the beginning of July and I wasn't actually supposed to redo my palette until the beginning of next year because I do still have some eyeshadows that I'm panning here and because of that I cannot really change the entire palette but there are some things that I am going to be changing and I thought that I might as well film the process of doing it. So let's start by going through all of these shades and let's decide what we are going to keep in this palette and what we are going to take out. The four first shades in the top row and the three first shades on the second row as well as these rectangular eyeshadows and this empty pan over here. All of those eyeshadows are a part of my Panning Solitaire project pan, so I am going to keep those in. As you can see, my matte cream is on its last leg. There was much more left, but mine cracked and I had to repress it. And I didn't do the best job repressing. I did repress it maybe a little bit too loosely. And I have lost some more eyeshadows and it's really powdery right now it, and goes quickly. So I will need another matte cream. But yeah, those are my panning solitaire shades. So even the empty pans I do want to keep in this palette for now until the project is over. Then there is the matte black that I use as a liner that I want to keep in as well as the silver and the con metal tear from BH Cosmetics. This time of year I am sometimes into silvery smoky eyes. Let's talk about the smaller round eyeshadows. These are all from the BH Cosmetics Curly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. I know for sure that the pink eyeshadow I do want to take out. I am not really that much into pink this time of year, so this one, I'm sorry by the way, if the lighting is not the best there, I think you can see it. The bronzy eyeshadow over here, I don't want to keep in, so I'm going to take that away. But then there is like a blush nude sort of shade. Maybe that is something that I want to keep in, because if I'm going for a cooler toned berry look or pinky look, for example, using Venetian Red from my Modern Renaissance, I really don't have another transition set that could work with it. So that's why I think I want to keep that color in. And then there is this shade over here that is like a deeper shimmery brown. I think I want to keep it in. It looks beautiful on the outer part of the lid if I am going for a gold inner part. Next, let's talk about the larger round pan eyeshadows. These are all from Makeup Geek and couple of them I pulled in my project and used her let, but I did end that project. Unfortunately, I did talk about it in a Get Ready With Me that I actually filmed earlier today, but it is up now before I upload this video. So if you want to hear more of my thoughts, check out that video. But yeah, the said Magic Act I pulled in that project as well as the said Pegasus. And I think from these Makeup Geek eyeshadows, the only one that I for sure do want to keep in is this shade over here. This one is the shade Grand Stand and it is a beautiful rose gold. I want to keep that in. And maybe the shade Flame Trover over here. It is a beautiful copper. Magic Act is a beautiful gold, but I am panning this gold from BH Cosmetics, so that I'm going to take out. This is like a silvery creamy shade, it's called Charmed. And this is not something I use right now, so I don't want to have that. I am so sick of Pegasus, I don't want to use it before next summer. Then Jester, I have only used it once. It was in my eyeshadow singles tag video. And I loved the look, but we're kind of like getting out of the season where I'm into olive green, so maybe I will take it out. Then there is this eyeshadow over here from the Balm Balm Words 2 eyeshadow palette. Maybe I could use it. I do love to combine this one with gold and we're in season when I might actually do that. So maybe I will keep it in because it's a small eyeshadow. And yeah, then the larger eyeshadows, I do have this white and this deep 
cool toned brown. They are both from the Balm Mint Matte Nude Eyeshadow Palette. And yeah, they are really useful shades. I use the brown on my brows and there's pretty good dip there, but I don't think I'm even close to hitting pan yet. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep those in. Then the square shaped eyeshadows are from the Jeffree Star and Rochini eyeshadow palette. I think I want to keep the shade Shave Word in here, that is the beige, because that is a great transition shade for any neutral look. But I do think I'm going to take the yellow out. I'm just like tired of these colors already. The shade Dominatrix, that is the deeper brown that I am actually panning. I don't know if I can ever finish that, but it's a good quality deep brown. So yeah, these are the eyeshadows that I will be leaving <laughs> to this palette. So what I will do next is that I will off camera empty this palette, clean it because it's so messy, and then I will rearrange the shade and I will be right back with the rearranged palette. Okay, so this is now the palette emptied and cleaned and filled in again with the eyeshadows that I do want to keep in this palette. I might still end up changing this order, but I just wanted to organize them so that I can actually see how much space I do have. So I do have space for a couple of more large eyeshadows, like these square pants, and then I do have a little bit more room after those. So yeah, now that I do know how much space I have, I'm going to move the palette aside and we are going to go into my storage palette. This is always so exciting. Actually, I do want to go for the boring side first. So the side of my mats and there are some satin sage there too. So what I am going to be doing next is that I will just pull some shades that I want to use for a holiday season. First thing I will say about this side is that I know I will be needing another brow bone highlight shade because I'm almost out of mine. So there's two options here. There is this one from the Balm and then this one from Colourpop. I don't know which one I want to pick. I like the Colourpop one more, but I don't know. For some reason right now I kind of want to save it. It's quite a special shade. It reminds me a lot of Tempera from Modern Renaissance. This one actually does have just the slightest sheen in it, so... Maybe I will go with the Balm one because it's way older in my collection. This one is not like a, your typical cream. I think this one has a little bit more kind of like neutral undertone when usually these sort of tones in palettes do have more of a yellow undertone, but that is something that I actually feel I need. I'm wondering if there's anything else that I actually feel I kind of need. I don't know, I feel that I kind of want to take the plumps, but I don't know if I actually have time to create plummy looks. Maybe I will take them. I don't have to put all of the eyeshadows that I pull into my palette. If they don't fit, then I can just like put the ones that I want the most, but I do want to take the plums out for now. There is this red that would be super appropriate for holiday season, but I don't think I really need it right now because I'm going to take another red from another side of the palette. Plus, I do still have red ochre in my pandat palette, but I do think a shade that I want to take is this one. This is a beautiful, beautiful shimmery satiny white from the Balm Shady Lady special edition palette. If I can fit that in, I want to take that. I do think that's kind of like a holiday appropriate set. Reminds me a lot of snow. So yeah, I think that's everything from the boring side. So let's check out the more exciting side of the palette, which is the side of the shimmers. The top row of this side is all from Colourpop I Think I Love You palette and these are gorgeous simmers. I know they would be really appropriate for a holiday season, but I am already panning a gold. I do have some shimmery brown. I do have a rose gold already in my palette, so I don't think I really need to pick any of those. And also there is this small, smaller round pan that is from the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. I maybe want to take that one. That is a beautiful shade. But yeah, let's think about the bigger round pants. I do think I want to take the Makeup Geek 
Anarchy. No, the Makeup Keep Curtain Call shade. The other shade here is called Anarchy. So I'm going to take that. The others, I don't think I need them right now. The purples are from the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes Cool to Go. I don't want them right now. I know when once we get past the holiday season to the actual winter season of January and February, I know I'm into tones like this 10, but not right now. Then there are three larger sets. I actually only want one of these. It's the red one. The gold one would be really appropriate too. However, I do have another gold I'm panning right now, but the red is so perfect for holiday season. This one is from the Jeffree Star, the Androgyny palette. For some weird reason, I kind of like want to take the mint green. I never thought I would want to take it this season because usually I'm into mints only in spring, but I do think I could create some cute Christmassy looks using that. So maybe I will take that one too, because I can fit four of those large shades to my palette. So yeah, those are the shades that I'm pulling out of this palette right now, and I will put that palette aside. Okay, so here is the empty palette and all of the eyeshadows that I want to fit into it, next to it. At least I can fit the large eyeshadows to the bottom row. So I'm going to do that. I don't know if that order is going to be like the one that is going to stay. I actually think I want to make the mint the first set. Yeah, I do like maybe how that looks. And then I want to put the kind of like skin color or creamy the balm eyeshadow there. I'm now wondering about the empty pants, if I should store them there. I don't necessarily want to store them there, so I'm going to take them away. I will still want to keep them in this palette, so it's easier for me to talk about my padding solitaire shade when I'm doing the update and the finale. But I do think I want to have the third row of this cooler toned shades from the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. So... Like that. Maybe I want to have the shimmery eyeshadow first. Oh, I think that looks nice. I think I want to maybe put these cooler toned shimmers to the top row after the black. Yes, that looks like it makes sense. And then the rest of the shades and the empty pants I should still fit somewhere here. I'm just going to try. Does that look like it makes any sense? I think so. And could I fit the empty pants there? No, not at least all of them, but like that. Okay, I think this is good. I mean, I know it doesn't look that appealing to have those empty pants there, but it helps me when I'm doing my panning solitaire update videos. So I think this palette makes sense to me right now. I don't know if this palette screams holiday to you, but I'm really happy and inspired when I look at the palette. I'm so happy that some of those shades are out of here, that I really consider summer shades, like the Pegasus one from Makeup Geek or the pinky duochrome shade from the Carly Bible palette. And also like some of the true fall shades like this yellow from the Jeffree Star palette. I'm, I'm kind of like glad that those are out of here and even though for you this doesn't necessarily look that different, for me it looks like a whole new palette. I feel I'm so inspired, I can see so many different inspiring color combinations for holiday. For example, I would love to create a look from the plummy shades and gold lit. Oh my gosh, I really want to play with the red shade over here. I do want to do something fun with the mint green that is more like holiday appropriate look than just like a soft pastel look, but actually something fun. Yeah, I'm really happy about the palette. The empty pants, I know they look a little bit stupid, but as I said, it helps me to film my panning solitaire updates. 
this was really fun to do. Next time I will be redoing this palette from holiday edition to winter edition. So that's probably going to be in the very, very beginning of new year, right after the holiday season. Meanwhile, I will be playing with these beautiful eyeshadows. Hopefully I can still finish some of those panning solitaire shades. I mean, I know there's at least two that I can finish and I hope I can get use out of some of these other shades too. But yeah, that was everything for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you on my next one. Bye bye.